Cut y'all like two chains. Uh, I done swerved in a new lane. Dang, get the grit to do things. I came up, came up, who I was down with. You change up, change up, stay far from around me. We are just a stone's throw away from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Oakland Raiders and the Cleveland Browns. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. To return, it's DeAndre Washington. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. ton of pressure in his face it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball after the incompletion they'll try once more from the 20 yard line on second and 10 back to the air newton on second down that's into the hands of westbrook over the middle and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And that goes for a gain of 31. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Newton on first down. And he completes it to Westbrook. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting... And that is caught! Touchdown, Raiders! Antonio Brown, touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive point after right down the middle and that makes the score seven nothing the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away and this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line
Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll begin the drive with one. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. They'll run. This is Hunt. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll toss it to Hunt. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to let it go deep right. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four when we see those runs to the perimeter when we see those runs to the edge we think about big breakers don't we in this case it was a modest gain but it does open up possibilities here on second down his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third and one. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. And Goskowski, oh, he missed it. It's no good. Wide to the left, and this score will stay right where it is. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little, and when that happens, 20. guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. Play fake here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. here on first down steps away and on the left side here Wilson and he gets this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10 a good pick up there a 22 the Raiders into the red zone for the first time it's first and 10 from the 12 Newton Flush to his right. And a little floater there is incomplete. I know we're doing this game live, but let's, let's step into the film room for just a second because when they review this play, oh, the negatives are going to be incredible on this one. Rolling out to his right. Yeah, he's right-handed, so that's a natural spot for him. But he throws back across his body back into traffic. Big no-no. Oh, that's a monster no-no. The only good thing that happened... It fell incomplete. Very fortunate. Here's Newton. The quick slant caught. 70th catch for him on the year. And like so many others, this goes for a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. Newton throwing again. And Brown's got it for an Oakland touchdown. Antonio Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders add six to their lead. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. The point after is good, and it's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line now the Browns offense they get ready to head back onto the field already down two touchdowns here in the first half this becomes a pretty important drive doesn't it it certainly does and a lot of the teams script plays we know that right they, they have a script to start the ball game and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24 25 plays down two touchdowns early probably not very deep into their script I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Here's Hunt. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. But you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise, this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Mayfield now. And he finds Safarian Jenkins. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Field on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. A.J. Bouye, the fine cornerback, there to make the play defensively. 
It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw no, 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 for it there. Patrick, Patrick. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. A second down throw for Mayfield. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Gone, 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 gone. Detroit, Detroit. Ah! Going to the air again with Mayfield. It's brought in by Harris, and this time not quite to the thirty. It'll be down at the thirty-one yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And again, it's Mayfield, flushed out right. He almost had it, the big D lineman nearly had an interception. Instead, it falls down incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. On third down, it's Hunt. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Mayfield on fourth down, eluding the pressure right. And my goodness, this is incomplete. A.J. Bouye, the fine quarterback, there to make the play defensively. Well, down two touchdowns already. I guess they felt they needed to go for it, but still early, still first half. I think conventional wisdom says, look, you, as you point out, you got a whole half to play. Hang in there. Don't give up any more points in this situation. Do a little adjusting at the half and come out ready to go. But sometimes those coaches can just sense their team. Maybe they're a little flat or they need a little extra inspiration. And he decided to go for it there to try and kickstart things. Here's Newton. He's going to rifle one deep left into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46 yard line. They're trying to resurrect his confidence. Last week was a disaster. Five interceptions in that loss and another pick there. I played with a quarterback like this before, and he had a tough game, and the head coach said, I'll take him, I'll fix him. The very next game, he started out the exact same way, and the head coach turned to the offense coordinator and said, he's yours from now on. Someone has to take responsibility and work with him and try and get him settled. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two minutes remain here in the first half. More from Cleveland after this. Second down, Mayfield. He sets to fire deep. And this is taken in at the five. 
five. A big play that time for Cleveland. 43 yards. Nothing conservative about that play call. You said earlier in the quarter you wanted to see them open things up, maybe take some shots downfield. There you go. Yeah, and that one was successful. But even if they're not successful, when you take those shots downfield, they've got to back off a little bit, loosen up a little bit on defense, and give you a little bit more room if you want to run the football. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. A toss play to Hunt. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Now the Raiders are going to use another timeout here as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. From back at the four, go here's on, second go and goal. Back on. Back on Philly. Here we go. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. From the gun, Mayfield. And his pass incomplete. It was the free safety, LaMarcus Joyner, that time, able to make the play. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. is Hunt and he'll get it down close to the goal line but not quite in and play is stopped here timeout it's the defense calling the timeout here as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next the offense is staying out there here we go on fourth and goal from the one Try and sneak it here. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Baker Mayfield scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Browns are back within a score. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Kowski the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. 
You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Throw left side complete. It's Sims. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one goes for 36 yards. On first down, it's Newton. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. On second and ten, Newton. He's going deep for Brown. That's going to be caught. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Cam Newton with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Raiders add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here. But I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all. Because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Extra point up and through. And it's now 21-7. to seven. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. Now a, a loose football, and the Raiders pick it up, and they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. One thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. To throw is Newton. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Hey, hey, hey. To throw again, Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Sheldon Richardson with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Third and long, it's Newton. He's going to fire one. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Cam Newton. And the Raiders add six to their lead. And just before the half ends, the prayer is answered defensively a disaster there. I know often we're surprised when this actually works. I mean, the excitement level goes way up, but maybe we shouldn't be because I know as a defender, you've got to play the ball in this situation, but you can't interfere with the receiver because, remember, it's a spot foul, and it'd be first and goal if it happens in the end zone, and you don't want to give up that play. And that little bit of hesitancy often works really well for offensive guys. This will be taken very short. And they will be backed up deep as they'll have to start the drive from the six-yard line. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, 
I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Now, Barney, Let's get out of there. Barney. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and ten. Final play of the half, Mayfield. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, right, run the football, business. don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Oh, able to avoid him. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mayfield on third and two. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing know, the ball like we saw look there. I don't know, the six. rhythm seems off. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Browns get a score closer. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return, it's Washington. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Second and ten, Newton again. Over the middle complete, that's Sims. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A very solid gain of 27. 
On first down, Newton. That's into the hands of Westbrook over the middle. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Again, Newton. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Come on now. Throwing again is Newton. And Brown's got it for a Raider touchdown. Cam Newton with his fifth touchdown pass of the game. And the Raiders add on to their lead. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shy of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, Leopard! first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Leopard! To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. Shifts by him. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, Mayfield. He'll have a first down past the 40. Able to find Harris complete. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. A good pick up there for the Browns. 15 yards. Back 99, Billy. Here we go. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Four down, four down. Check, check. 58, boys, 58. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. They'll roll him out right. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. The Browns on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. Watch 
They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And this is going to be intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. We'll be back. Now following the interception, here's Newton. He's going deep for Brown. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Newton. And this one is incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? 20. You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. He's going to let this one go deep. And Brown's got it. Touchdown, Raiders. Antonio Brown. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Extra point splits the uprights. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Browns getting set to go. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his Detroit! assistant coaches Detroit! getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Second down, Mayfield again. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Carl Joseph. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season... Because well, here we are season in December, of giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run it again with Crowell. Twisting away. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 33 and a first. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A first down carry now for Crowell. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. 
Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. On second down, here's Crowell. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. Throwing is Newton. He gets it to Brown. Complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Antonio Brown with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Raiders are pouring it on. Point after up and good. And that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, it's McKenzie. And yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track no, no, and get no, us going Patriot, in the right direction. Patriot. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you're looking at your plays, oh, this hurts Blue the defense. 90. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Detroit, Go Detroit. to the playmakers. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games Detroit, like this, Detroit. and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It is tough to complete passes against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against his own before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Mayfield now from the 50. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You got to give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Single, single, start. They go play action. Mayfield. He finds Beckham complete. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you at important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. We've been around this league for a while and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty no, good no, beating no, out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, Patrick. maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now, they're in some hot water now after oh, that now, sack. It's look second and 21. Mayfield to throw it. And he's going to go down again. Whitney Merciless in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. 
Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Mayfield on play action. Flushed out right. Now he's going to send this one deep right. This is caught inside the 15. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. From the red zone now, Mayfield. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Whitney Merciless. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. The Browns no, on no, third no, down. Patriot, Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and a mile. Mayfield off the play fake. Dancing to his left. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Whitney Merciless in there to take him down and to take us to the two-minute warning. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. And the pressure gets to him again. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Raider D, they get the football back. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. Throwing here. Newton. Looking long for Westbrook. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And a return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player right, is those six three, inches three, between the ears. Three, three, but right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, Detroit, that's who he needs Detroit. to get with now and get himself calm. A first down throw for Mayfield. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead. Fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Four 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Newton's going to throw it. He's going to launch this thing way down feet. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Well, right now, maybe. They're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. More points for everyone if they win big. Now, a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Second and 10, Newton again. Over the middle here, the Brown. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Now Newton on first down. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. To throw again, Newton. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. I tell you, Charles... You play to the final whistle, I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with this one. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited. Fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it. Because you're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Four down, four down. Check, check. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory and... The defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Oakland, it's a 10th win of the year now as they move to 10-4. and four. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.